I want to show you the easiest way to color grade any photograph that I've ever discovered. So I'm sitting here experimenting actually with some black and white techniques and I figured out this incredible way to color grade your photographs and actually what makes it so incredible is how easy it is that anybody can really do this. Now if you don't know anything about color grading, color grading relies heavily upon color theory in order to make it happen. So color grading is where you take an image that looks pretty good and you take it to the next level where it starts to create an experience for your viewer. Now, you see this in movies and television and all over the place. You don't even realize it's happening when you see it. So let's go ahead and jump in. I'm going to show you how to do this. This is going to use the hue saturation adjustment layer. And you might be thinking, like, if you've ever seen me color grade before, you know that I never use the HSL adjustment layer to do color grading. But there's a little button here, and this button is called Colorize. So when we press the Colorize button. It's going to give the image whatever color is set to the hue right here. So right now we've got it set to a reddish color. So it's going to colorize our image and make the whole thing look a little bit red. Now, if you'll notice, one of the things I told you I was experimenting with was black and white techniques. I was experimenting with black and white techniques to make a monochromatic image. And that's exactly what this is doing right now. And as I started experimenting with this, I started to increase the saturation, lower the saturation. And that's where we see something like a black and white image not the best black and white conversion. But what I want to show you here is that this is where the trigger just kind of flipped for me. And I said, well, if this right here with the saturation all the way down looks like a grayscale image, let's change the blend mode to soft light. So when I change the blend mode to soft light, what happens now is it gives me the ability to color grade this image based on the hue of the color or in terms of color theory, hue means what color is the color or what identifiable principle do we give that color like red green, blue, right? Saturation is how intense is that color from zero being 50% gray, like we just saw to 100 being way too much of that color. And the lightness is how dark that color is that we're adding to this image. So while we're color grading this, it's very simple and it's very easy. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to go back to normal here. Here is the colorized version. We change the hue. This will change the hue of whatever color we're trying to bring into this image, right? Saturation is how intense is the color of that we're trying to bring in. And then lightness is how dark is that color or how bright is that color. Now what happens here and the beauty of this is where we change this to the soft light blend mode. When you change this to the soft light blend mode, all of these uh, tools in here shift into a very simple way to color grade your image. I'm going to run through it here by asking myself a series of questions. Number one, what color do I want to add to this photo? Let's do an on orangish color. Okay. Let's say it's before sunrise, just as the sun is rising. What, how deep and how intense do I want that color to be? Bring this up to start to get some of that, that orange, beautiful color in there. And then how bright do I want that color to be? Or how dark do I want that color to be? Since we're going for a sunrise look, I go a little bit bright and here we go. It looks like sunrise with that nice orange, beautiful morning glow. I'm going to duplicate this by pressing command or control J and I'm going to turn off this underlying layer here. Now I want to make this feel like it was shot just as the sun was setting, maybe transitioning into blue hour. I'm going to move this over to the bluish colors here. Maybe a little bit of that magenta that I love so much, like the lights behind me, maybe increase that saturation a little bit, but take some of the lightness away and make it a little bit darker. Now this is obviously pretty strong. So we'll drop that saturation a little bit here and we can even adjust the opacity here. If it's still coming off a little bit too strong. But now this looks like more of that. Okay. The sun is about to set. It's getting a little bit uh, lower towards the horizon. Maybe not quite blue hour yet. Cause it's not nighttime, but it has a different mood and feel to it. Look at how this feels versus how this feels. This is bright. This is uplifting. This is uh, okay. Yeah. I could sit here, you know, and watch the sunset and, and enjoy the, uh, the ending of my day. But let's say we want to monopolize on the blue sky that we have here. I'll press control J to duplicate that again. Let's change this to a blue sky color. Let's increase the saturation a little bit, and then let's maybe increase the uh, brightness there to give that cool blue sky day that we would have for this image as well. It's a very simple, fast way to color grade. And the cool part about this, no pun intended, <laughs> cool color. If we look down here below this little multicolored line here, that shows us exactly what color we're color grading our image with. So this image has a light blue color grade to it. And that's based off of the hue of this color, the intensity of this color, and how much white is present in that color. Now I'll go down to this one. 
This is telling us that we have that a, a magenta, a deep magenta color that is now color grading our image. This one right here, we look down there, that's telling us that we have that beautiful orange glow that would be making that sunrise feel in our photograph. Now you've probably seen me color grade all kinds of images in all kinds of different ways using things like gradients and selective color. And those things are kind of confusing. This is so simple. This is color grading with the principles of any color and you can do it like that, even on something like a portrait. So let's go ahead and pop on that hue saturation adjustment layer and show you just how easy it is even for a portrait. We're gonna change this to soft light. Then we're gonna pop up here to colorize. And here we get to say, what, do you want this to be warmer or cooler? And typically when we start thinking about um, color grading, warm and cooler are the first things that come to mind. When we change this to a warmer color grade, she becomes a little bit more approachable, just like we think of our warm heart, okay? Uh, and then we add a little bit of brightness here and look at that. Great. So here though, if we want to change and alter the mood completely of this image very quickly, just slide on over here and maybe go 180 degrees on the color wheel over to this side. If we go 180, actually can add 180 to 34 and get it right at 214. That, that would be the complete opposite of what we just did on the color wheel. Because of the nature of color theory, it's going to have a different message to it, whether it's on the warm side or the cool side. I love color grading so much. I've got an entire playlist that you can watch right here. So click here if you're interested in more of these color grading techniques and tips. And if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing and clicking that little bell so you get notified every time I make a new video.